I kind of go step by step, and I actually uh, got some really good advice uh, just the other day with from my uh, vocal coach Brian Farrell. He he told me, you know, you can't really have a timeline, especially don't ever have a plan B. And for the longest time, I kind of did have that. I was always thinking, you know, I'll do music for another year and you know, see how it goes. If it doesn't work out, maybe I'll go back to university. But I've kind of like clued in, especially after hearing this advice that, you know, you can't really have that in the back of your mind. If you really want this, you have to, you know, go for it 100%. But do you think, for example, uh, some of the decisions that you will have to make, will you stay in Canada or will you heed the call and go south to, of the border because... Yeah. People complain about, Kate and I talk about this all the time, about not having a star system here. Mm -hmm. um, I think Canadian music is great, and I, I'm very proud to be a, a Canadian mm -hmm. artist. And, you know, the fact that um, it's hard for Canadian artists to, to break out internationally, and that kind of motivates me, though, to be that, that Canadian artist. Um, at the same time, you know, if the opportunity came up and I thought it was really great for me, you know, to go to the States or even, you know, to go to Germany or whatever, I think that I would I would be ready to, you know, make that, that decision and just go for it. Click the channel subscribe button for full-length interviews and more from What She Said here on YouTube.